Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the second review in the James Cameron movie review series. So today I'll be reviewing James Cameron's second film, his 1986 follow-up to Ridley Scott's 1979 film, Alien, and this is Aliens. So Aliens is a sequel film to Alien, and um, as I said, Ridley Scott directed the first one, now James Cameron did the sequel. Um, usually sequels, you know, they're not really as good as the first film. But if you looked at James Cameron's filmography, obviously he's pretty good at sequels, obviously this Aliens film. Um, Terminator 1 and 2, the sequel, was probably a bit better than the first one. And um, he's doing Avatar 2 and 3 soon, so I'm pretty sure that they'll be good sequels as well. So if you haven't seen the first Aliens film, I don't recommend watching this review because it might spoil a few things or you might not understand it. But I'm pretty sure if you're watching this review, you've probably seen Aliens already. So it's pretty much a direct sequel. Um, I'm not really going to go into much on the first, the plot of the first film. So the sequel pretty much continues from the first film. Um, Sigourney Weaver's character, Ellen Ripley, she went into a deep sleep chamber in this pod that she left the um, main ship at the end of the first film, and she was supposed to be in the sleep for about seven or eight years, I think. But the um, you find out at the beginning of the first, of the second film that her um, ship went off track and she's actually been in this sleep for about 70 to 80 years. So she was picked up by a space crew and brought back to the um, main ship. And there we meet this guy called Carter Burke who's played by Paul Reiser. So he works for the Whalen Corporation and they want to go back to this planet where um, Ripley came from which is the planet infested with these alien creatures and he wants to go there to kind of study them and bring back life but they're going there also to check on the people living on the planet now because since Ellen's left the planet you know it's been around 80 years so they've got people living on this planet now. So she's kind of shocked about that that there's actually people living on this planet with these deadly alien creatures around. So there's been a distress call or something so they get a team up to um, send to this planet to find out what's going on to like check the scene of the crime pretty much. And um, the team consists of you know got Michael Bean back in this movie from the same guy from the Terminator and he plays Corporal Hicks. And you've also got Bill Paxton in the team, who plays Private Hudson. Or well, they say to Ellen that they're going to, you know, check out the planet to destroy the aliens, not bring back. Because she, you know, she knows the danger of these aliens. She's the only one who's been there first hand. So she, she doesn't want to go back at first because, you know, obviously she wouldn't. But then they, you know, convince her that they're just going back to kill all the aliens and not taking anything back. But of course, there's got to be the guy who, um wants to bring this back and put everyone's life in danger. So um, Ripley decides to go with them, so they've pretty much got their crew together. You've also got Lance Henriksen playing Bishop. Bishop is this android guy, so he's kind of a, um, looks like a human on the outside, but he's kind of a robot on the inside, and he's just there to make sure that the mission goes well. But there was another android in the first movie that, you know, kind of went haywire and all wrong, so Ripley's obviously weary of him, and he, she doesn't like the idea of him being on the expedition at first because of the trouble she had with the other android. So now the movie takes place, they're on, back on this planet where she came from, they're searching through the wreckage, there's no humans, they can't find anyone, except there's this little girl that um, Ripley finds and her name's Newt, and she's pretty much the only person to survive and um, Ripley kind of takes her in as her own child because all, all the other people there are pretty much just marines, so, and she kind of develops a relationship with this child. So then obviously all the aliens come out, there's a lot of fight scenes that are really really well done in this movie between the marines and the aliens and then there's Ripley trying to um, keep Newt safe and they're all trying to get off this planet now that they've realised you know there's these aliens are trying to kill us, they could have stayed off it in the first place. And then you've got this Burke guy, the um, guy working for Whalen Corporation who's lied and he's actually trying to bring back some of the creatures to study now, so um, but I've got to deal with him now and you know keep him under watch in case he tries to smuggle anything in. So then it becomes another like alien, you've got the survival, but it's more of an action sci-fi film than the first one. The first one was more of a um, suspense thriller sci-fi film, whereas this one goes more into the action side. So Aliens is a fantastic sequel, I highly recommend it, one of James Cameron's best movies. You know, people normally argue it's normally between Aliens or Terminator 2 Judgment Day. You've got great acting and performances, once again Sig Sigourney Weaver as Ripley. And as usual you get a great performance from Michael Bean and Bill Paxton. And this is one of those sequels that is quite often better than the um, first original movie. You know, a lot of people like Alien best, but quite a lot of people like Aliens best as well, so it's, I really like both films. So once again, highly recommended, great movie, great sequel, another classic James Cameron film. Thanks for watching this review guys, and I'll hopefully be back tomorrow with the third review in the James Cameron series for The Abyss. So it'd be great if you could subscribe to my channel and yeah, check out my previous review on The Terminator. 
Thanks for watching. Bye.